<laughs> Wait, so Anders, who's the guy that paid you to win this? Are you Keenan, what are you doing here? I'm doing the CFR bar and stuff. What are you doing here? Well, man, I'm just doing orders. Like, you're supposed to film this. Yeah, well, you're taking so long to film this. What are you doing? You gotta get the video posted for CFR. Whoa! It's about time we put some CFR bars on this bad boy. Let's get her going then. So what are you gonna do first then? Unmount all this stuff. Just get it set up ready. Gotta cut all these zip ties too. Always forget those. And then get a little tray to put the bolts in. Then, are we even gonna be able to save the hand warmers? Oh yeah, you can save the hand warmers. It's just that easy. I'll show you guys. While Keenan takes those off, let me tell you what we got from Cheetah Factory Racing. So to start, we got the Munster CFR bar. We got the grips. They got a compass in the end of them. And then we got the two inch Nux risers. And then also this little adapter for the Polaris's. And then we got the sweet bar pad that just fits like perfectly over there. Makes it all sealed and keeps you safe from messing up your chin. It's got cool little mounts on the side. Really cool details. These, the whole setup's gonna look really clean on the sled. So it's nice when you use a partner, but I'm sure someone with two good hands can figure out how to do it. Okay, let's test them out. Should we see if they work? Here, you hold them, son. Okay, now we got the key. So now, we got everything off the bars. It's time to take them off. The 10 mil for underneath. Is the battery dead? Do a recorder. Just go grab another one. Okay. This attachment here comes from CFR and it goes right there on the steering post. So we're gonna put those on top like that. Sit you down evenly so don't go don't go too we can do this right away. Just keep going. So we got these two inch Nux risers, nice little mounds on the side. Cheetah factory racing. Gonna go on right here. Go loosen up first. 1.25s. Just gotta pop these bad boys oh, yeah. off. So I just trust to see if our bar's in there. Yeah. Yeah. It's all your fault. It's honestly all your fault. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten these down. How do you tighten them down, Keenan? Evenly. Uh, before you put the hand warmer back on, take your new grip, make sure how far up the bar it's gonna go so you don't have the hand warmer sticking out. Put it up like that, it's gonna be about there. Oh, you can't go much further over. You want it smooth so that the grips slide on easy. Once you get these hand warmers figured out where you can slip the grips on still with ease, you wrap it in with electrical tape to kind of seal it off. And then you can get the tail of the electrical tape under the grip. And then you should be able to uh, slide her on. So you can simply there you go. Then we got the grip on here. You ready, boy? Give me oh. some air. Okay, I'd say that that part is done. So now that's all that's left to do is to put the uh, kill switch and the throttle back on. And man, those gri the grips are probably the hardest part of the whole. Scenario. So, there you have it. Full setup. We almost forgot the last piece, the bar pad. And that pretty much calls it. Everybody, we just finished installing this brand new set of CFR bars, risers, grips, and bar pad from Cheetah Factory Racing. Thank you, Matt and Dave at Cheetah Factory Racing for hooking it up. The winner of the snowmobile is gonna love these bars. It definitely makes a huge difference. Especially having the Munster bar with the Munster finger throttle. It all lines up perfectly. Shop ridefastcrew.com.